Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add this beautiful background pattern to your images. I'll show you how to do it in the most realistic fashion. I'll be giving you the pattern, this background layer, this uh, layer effect for absolutely free. So the link will be in the description so that you can get it and use it for your image. And I'll show you the full process of applying it to your image. It's super easy, but it's necessary to watch through the video so you see how to blend it into your image so that it comes out super realistic. We'll be covering the full process from start to finish and we know for that ado let's get started we are going to delete all these layers and on on the skin of the model you can see there are so many freckles and acne take your spot healing brush and then paint over the skin to remove those freckles and acne remove the pimples remove the spots any defects on the face you just remove it using a spot healing brush it's very easy to do you just paint over the skin and the spoiling brush will automatically remove it for you. One thing to keep in mind is that you should make sure that the size of your spoiling brush is super small. Yes, if it's too big, it's going to create big patches on the skin that will not appear nice. So make sure the brush size is very small or just the size of the spot you want to remove. You can adjust your brush size using a bracket open and bracket close key. So. Use the bracket close to increase the brush size and use the bracket open to reduce the brush size. So as easy as that to paint on the skin. Now, if you still look at the skin, you can see it's still rough. So this is the point you're going to do frequency separation or any form of retouching you know how to do. Yes, I'll show you the easiest way. It's using the auto face FS action. If you play the action like this, this is exactly how it works. Voila. Yes, here was the before and here is the after. The auto face FS action automatically smoothing your skin for you. Here was before and here is the after. You see, here was the before and here is the after. It smooths the skin while retaining the skin texture. And don't forget, you can do it more than once. If you want to do it more than once, you right click, flatten, and then apply the action for a second time. This second time, you see that it has smoothing the skin too much. Yes. Now the skin smoothing is now too much as making the image to appear blur. At least for a little bit, it's making it to appear blur. Here was before, here is after. So what you do is add the layer marks, Control I to invert the layer marks. Take your brush, make sure the foreground is white. Make sure opacity is 100, the flow should be around 30. And then you paint on areas I see that the textures are looking a little bit too rough. You just paint on those areas. So I apply this effect only to some particular areas, not all the areas, so that it doesn't generally make the image to look too smooth or too flat. So as easy as that. Another thing we can do is to dodge and burn this image. That will take us a little bit of time. Before we do that, let's just go into the main purpose of this tutorial, which is adding the pattern to the background. But don't forget how we smooth the skin. We use the auto face FS action. Here was the before. See how rough the skin is looking. Just see how super rough the skin is looking. And here is the after. It's now smoothing out. So we are going to flatten the image for a second time. We are going to duplicate the background. We are going to name this subject. So double click on the name and name subject. Click on OK. Come to quick selection key and click on select subject. And the subject is going to be automatically selected for you. And I'm going to zoom in, take your quick selection tool, and then refine the selection with the quick selection tool as easy as this. Just zoom in, take a look around the edges, and fix. Yes, yeah, not being well selected. As easy as this. So once you're OK, you click on this icon right here to create a layer max. So click on it, add layer max. Now, so if we add anything to the background, it's not going to affect the subject. So we are going to add a black color like this. Before and after, we are going to reduce the opacity very well. We are just trying to make the background to look better. You see that this uh, black right here is looking red hot, looking dirty, it's not nice. So we are adding a solid layer adjustment, a color fill adjustment. And you see we adjusted the opacity to bring back some of the details in the background so that it doesn't look too thick. That's exactly what we do. We can now add a selective color. 
target the black so that we can tune the black to whichever color we want dominant in the black. We can also increase the intensity of the black as easy as this. I hope you've learned something new. I hope you've learned something impactful. Like the video already as we go further. So you can reduce the opacity of this one also. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to come to our folder. Look for the snoot. I'm going to give you this snoot for absolutely free. Link will be in the description. So drag and drop it into your image. Now you resize accordingly. You size this pattern accordingly. Just like this. And now you're going to click on OK. Click on OK. If you zoom out, you can see there's a difference in color of this uh, pattern black from the pattern of from the color of the original background. So what we are going to do, the effect we need is this white, 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 white patterns. So we are going to come to our blend mode, change the blend mode to screen, and voila. You see the black is going, it's just only the light color. That's exactly what the screen blend mode does. So the screen blend mode will remove the darker colors and preserve the bright ones, especially the almost the brightest. Like this one, it has removed the black background on this pattern and preserved only the light pattern on the background. So that's exactly what we need. Here was before, here is after. Now you can just come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, add a little bit of blow. So around 10 is okay. Now click on okay like this. Zoom in, here was before and here is the after. You can slightly take down the opacity, just slightly like this so that the background color can just see through these patterns and make it appear better. Now, if you zoom to the eye, you can see the eyes of this model is looking reddish. We can easily remove that using the eye white action. So just play the action. It's super easy to create this action. If you need me to make it tutorial on that, you let me know. But I just assume that most of you already have eye white action. And if you don't, let me know in the comment section so that I can share you a link to get it for absolutely free. Let me know in the comment section. I'll give you the link to get absolutely free. For most people already have it. Uh, most people know how to easily white in the eye. You can see there's a difference in color. Yes, the face is brighter than the arms. It's super easy to fix. Let me just show you something new and super easy. So just stick around to see how easy this is. You will face this problem definitely if you're a photographer where the color of the face is different from the color of the body, the neck, or the arms. Now it's more obvious in the arms, so I'm going to show you how to easily fix that. So take your quick selection tool, click on the arms like this, and now click on other parts like this to make this rough selection. You can refine the selection by now coming to the minus selection and like that, come to the plus selection to add, take the minus to subtract necessarily how the quick selection tool works. So after making this rough selection, the next thing we are going to do We are going to come to the curves adjustment, increase the curves adjustment, and you're going to take this hand picker and now move over the 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 hand or any other area of the body that you want to brighten. So let's brighten this area. You take it up like this to brighten it. So you see here was before and here is after. To match the color, if there's any difference in color, you create a solid color adjustment. And you are now going to come like this, hold Alt on your keyboard. If you are using a Mac, you hold Option key. If you are using a PC, hold Alt. Now you're going to see this arrow icon, click on it. And it's going to clip this layer adjustment to only the course layer. That is the layer immediately beneath it. So you are going to double click and you are going to take a hand picker tool and select the skin like this. So right now you can see that. The solid color is now applied only to the arms. So you come to your blend mode and change the blend mode to color. See the before and see the after. That's match the color. So we are going to zoom in. We are going to fade out the selection. And we are going to take down opacity of the color. We are going to take down the opacity. So right now we are going to group these two layers together. Group it. Select. If you select one, hold control and select the second layer. You can now drag to this icon, to this folder icon to group them. See the before. Zoom in closely. See the before, see the arms. See the color, difference in color of the arms and the face. See the after. Wow, this is super amazing. 
I'm very sure you might have learned something new. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Leave an appreciation in the comment section. I super, really, really appreciate that. If you see areas like the neck here that is a little bit dark, what you are going to do, you come to these cuffs again, take your brush, make sure the foreground is white, reduce opacity to around 10. And now you paint on these areas like this. You see how we brighten it easily. Wow, this is... This is super helpful. I'm very sure you, you've learned a new trick. I are going to be using it when you face problems like this. See, just see the before, see the after, see the before, see the after. I'll make more in-depth tutorial on, on, on problems like this. If you have other problems, let me know in the comment section. We can go on to liquefy the body of the model. We can go on to dodge and bone. We can use different skin tone technique to color grade the skin tone and give it a different look, a different feel. But you can generally see that We've taken this image from looking like this to looking like this. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the skin from looking like this, from looking this rough to looking this smooth. Wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. See how smooth the skin is while all the textures have been retained. Don't forget how we did that. We used the auto fix FS action link to get the auto fix FS action is in the description. Link to get the pattern, this uh, background pattern that we used is in the description. You can get the background pattern and use it on your image. Use the technique I showed you in this video to make it look realistic. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tip, tricks, and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.